against all the evil that man can conjure, all the wickedness that man can produce, will be satisfied for them on the hill. Rip and tear until it is done. Okay, so fucking for that for a bit. It's time for the real boys. Oh, uh, I mean, games. It's not a secret that Doom got re released lots of times. And recently, another re release came out, but it's way better than other ones. It has more settings, better multiplayer, it vault, and of course, all commercial games got remastered either. Even this, and new map pack. However, today we'll talk about other re releases. That is pretty interesting. Some of them, kinda good. Some of them, well, pff, yeah. Time to rip and tear those games, am I right? <laughs> of course there was no Steam before. It's after some time we got whole Steam store where all games got there, including Doom. But why is this release? As you know, you could play Doom on MS-DOS. It wasn't ported on Windows before. Only later, after a presentation of Windows 95, they decided to port it, but they didn't have to rewrite all code. They did it much easier. DOSBox. It's something like virtual machines where you can run DOS program. It's already there when you install Doom. Of course, not only Doom got DOSBox port, Wolfenstein and Commander Key got it too. So it's still the same Doom, but playable, some bugs, and you can play it with normal resolution. Okay, I actually kinda fucked up here. There was actually before Doom 95, which is the port of Doom on Windows 95, but it didn't really go well. So that's why it's software had to make the release of Doom. But the first try, it was... Oh god. Hold on. What? Doom release? Doom 3? What's the connection? Doom 3 BFG Edition is a remaster of Doom 3 that fixes some stuff here, such as graphics, kinda, flashlight, making the game less scary, and for some reason easier because ammo here is doubled. And of course, just like Half-Life Source, Doom 3 BFG Edition is fucking ass. But we're not talking about Doom 3. If you quit, you can change game, and you can play Doom 1 and Doom 2! What can go wrong? Just the port! <sighs> Everything got wrong. This port sucks. For some reason, FPS same as old version. And it's kinda weird for a master. SFX random pitch is terrible. I mean, existence of that is terrible already. Other games? Sure. If it works. Doom? Fuck no! Yes, Doom's supposed to have end of pitch, but on some times. Not on everything. Just just look at it. And you can't get rid of it! It's so cursed! Feels like you're hitting zombies' balls and they screaming so high pitch. Turbo pinkies for some reason doesn't work. Not my cutie pinky! Since this sign is copyrighted, why Medkits uses pills now instead of these new plus signs? I mean, it's not that hard to just change color of it, but nah! Drug pills! On Berserk it looks cursed, goddamn ew! But the main thing, 
map 31 and map 32 in Dune 2. We all know that they are reference to levels from Wolfenstein. Now... Uh, where Nazi soldiers are just zombie men. Okay, they could remove Nazi symbols and stuff. No! They just removed textures from Wolfenstein! Even music! Come on! <laughs> However, there's a small or big thing. In Doom 2, map 2, if you press here use button, you are winning and restarting the whole map. Why? Well, in Xbox port, there is a secret level if you press the wall switch. Why there? I don't know, I'm not gonna tell everything about this level. It's just sewers, I guess. Why it's not on PC? I don't know. Okay, this is too much for me. I'm talking about this setting creation for too much. Gosh. Well, hope they didn't fucked up it next time. Right? <laughs> Alright! Good job, it software! Okay, this one is not actually that bad. They fixed some stuff from previous BFG thing, built on medkits are again plus signs, but green now, much better. However, some tracks here is barely loops right. Check this out. I mean, it's not that bad. The European keys, they are here, but after loading save file, they are just Normal pinkies. Arm. Um, what a Sigma? Wolfenstein? Yes, these soldiers are here. Some random pitch here too, but thank god it can be disabled. Oh, by the way, do you remember that these exist? In Doom 3 BFG edition, they fucked those. However, there, it's in mods. Lots of sigil and other cool mod stuff. Conclusion? This port is actually fine. With some bugs and stuff, but still, pretty cool. Next. No, 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 not this one. Uh, does it count? I guess? There is a secret in Doom Eternal where you can play OG Doom. However, uh, even though Doom Eternal came out after that Unity build, it's BFG edition. Pills, like a Wolfenstein. And also, you can't check the map, which is weird. I can't say anything about this board. It's just nostalgia easter egg, nothing much. Let's go to the next one and the final one. <laughs> and here we are, Doom plus Doom 2. I could say that it's better than Unity build 1, but they are kinda same thing. Just like I said in previous time, better settings, more commercial games and other cool stuff. Oh, and also, new music by ID Kifia, the guy who made this. If you don't like this, you still can listen to old ones. And just like in Unity Build, they looping not properly. Well, anyways, there's nothing much I could say. Still pretty good. I played the whole thing and it's amazing. Just like Unity Build, but a little bit better. Conclusion. Every releases are exist to get more money, of course. If you wanna experience full vanilla, use source ports. They are more way better than what I was talking about earlier. For full vanilla, I recommend These Day Doom or Chocolate Doom for more darky atmosphere and so retro. For new as brutal hello users, GZ Doom, have fun. But I'm not saying that these releases are bad, but just if you wanna feel a real vanilla, use source ports. Well, that's all for today. Next video is about FNAF. Cry.